Three, two, one, go. Hello, this is Tom, a.k.a. Jedion here for Tabletop Tap Room. We're going to do a quick um, response video to Justin Lanassa, who has seen fit to come out from behind the sock puppets and posted on the Star Frontier's new Genesis unofficial group. And now there's been some criticism of the unofficial group lately um <laughs> well i mean if you hadn't blocked us all from the official group you know and and you know i i get that you would want to block somebody like me who criticizes you but you blocked fans who just ask questions and uh, you were so thin-skinned so everybody's just gravitated to the unofficial group because they're blocked on the official group I mean, is the official group even still doing a thing anymore? I don't know. But uh, so Justin occasionally comes as Mario Real on the Star Frontiers New Genesis discussion group and, you know, post some crap and we, you know, we have to delete it and, you know, we have to, you know, moderate an admin, you know, particularly when he gets out of line and, uh, so um, I'm going to leave this post in place. He's not out of line. But uh, Justin he is, is saying here, just for all of you folks, I wonder if I can blow that up a little bit more. All right. Here we go. That's a little bit better. Nope. Bring it back down. So... <clears throat> Uh, oops, get rid of that stuff. So, <laughs> uh, that's why we don't do these live. But uh, so let's read this. Uh, Justin has this to say for all of you folks that have nothing to do, if you folks only worked a real job, what, like tattooing people, uh, as hard as you talk garage and stock, uh, you all might be wealthy or at least successful. You should check your sources on what edition of the draft you obtained without my permission. Before you look terrible, uh, tattletailing, tisk tisk tisk. As I have said one thousand times, I will speak my mind with a real account. Mario Real is that Mar the Mario Real account is the one that you, you will speak your mind with a real account, unlike uh, you poor poor folks. <laughs> Uh, so much to unpack in this, um, nothing to do. Well, first of all, I don't have to stalk you, Justin, uh, because so many people out there are like, are so willing to report on you. Hey, did you know, Hey, um, this happened in Wilmington and da, 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 da. And so people come to me, um, you know, not just me. I mean, there are other people who report on you. So I'm sure that uh, David Floor, Kim Winson, Eric Tenkar get the same sort of thing. Hey, did you know? Hey, oh, by the way, oh, did you see this? So people are so willing because you've been so abrasive. You've been so obnoxious. Um, they're like, that guy's a douche waffle and they can't wait to report on you. So that's number one. Uh, I don't have to stalk you. Um, there's no stocking going on. I, I don't know about talking garage. Um, personally, I don't have a garage. I got a carport. We could talk carports. I'd be willing to talk carports with you sometime. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to be at the next ShireCon. If you show up there, we can talk carports. Um, I don't know if you're banned from the next. I know you're banned from a lot of cons. I don't know. Um, but if you're at ShireCon, I'm going to be at the next ShireCon, um, you know, more than willing to talk carports with you if you like. Uh, or, you know, you could talk about your garage. Sure. So I don't know what that is. Uh, Y'all might be wealthy or at least successful. You know, uh, actually, I don't know what your standards are. Um, 
you know, contentment. Uh, I'm pretty content with where I'm at in life. Um, with what I have and where I'm at, uh, I'm not worried about uh, success. I'm not worried about wealth. You know, yeah, when the lottery tick, the lottery gets up to a billion dollars, I'll buy a ticket. My my brother will text me from Alaska, say, "Buy me a ticket." <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I'm like, sure, whatever. You know. Not worried about that stuff, but um, I, you know, I see that you are that, that that's that's what you're concerned about, wealth and success. That's how you measure things. It's not how everybody in, in this world in this life measures things. But uh, okay, uh, check your sources on what edition of the draft you obtained. All right, let's talk about what edition of the draft we obtained. You're uh, referring to uh, those pesky goblins. Uh, I, I got this uh, PDF, uh, Gorilla Mail, came anonymously uh, in Gorilla Mail, and the person behind it alleged um, it was purchased at Amazon. So, you know, I can show you page after page. It's got the dedication by Ernie Gygax, which is the same rambling one that was in uh, – that was in uh, Cult of Abaddon and in uh, the Dungeon Crawl board game. So that is what it is. And, you know, we don't know what half of this stuff is. The Island of the Fae by Edgar Allan Poe. Why? I don't know. Just, and the foreword by Justin Lanassa. You know, and it's, uh, it's just a hot mess. This is obviously scanned. They alleged that they purchased it on Amazon. So let's go to Amazon and punch in Justin Lanassa. And oh, there it is for sale on Amazon in stock. Add to cart. Whoops, just added it to my cart. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that out. We're not going to actually buy that. Sorry, Justin, I'm not donating 20 bucks to you. But uh, so here it is. It's for sale on Amazon, just like it was alleged. Oh, look, there's two ratings. And <laughs> who's re Justin's reviewed his own thing. Um, <clears throat> wasn't uh, What's impressive here is the amount of hate and jealousy these real-life trolls have for successful people. Um, who are you talking about, Justin? I don't see you as a success. Uh, just reading that one negative comment when the product isn't even available yet should interest you folks in buying it. Uh, it's available, Justin. It's on Amazon under your own account. You don't seem to be aware of that. Um, <clears throat> so all I can is, all I can say is, uh, you know, there was an anonymous email that went to Vince the Evil DM Florio. I want to thank him for showing me the uh, PDF. Uh, I got a gorilla email uh, with the with the PDF attached, um, you know, with a comment that that was purchased on Amazon. So I don't know what you're talking about. The other um, the other review here, not retail ready. Hire an editor. Why don't you use the TSR rating meter on your own product? Contains references to cannibalism, slavery, and kidnap babies. Copy paste much with a question mark. There's a lot of copy and paste going on with this. Uh, two stars because I like the four blank pages at the end. Uh, great content on those pages. Uh, <laughs> yes, I found that helpful too. There are four blank pages at the end, and then there's all those pages at the beginning that, that don't actually get into the game. Um, so it's like it's like a quarter of this whole document is, is non-content, does nothing for you. Uh, and so I don't know what he's going on with that, but let's go back to his post draft without your permission. Actually, Justin, if you put it up on your account on Amazon – that's giving your position, uh, your permission. Let's go to the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum 
and see what it's doing there. And click on that and go to the online store. And of course, it's not on the first page. Oh, look, Cult of Abaddon out of stock. Let's go to the back page. I bet it's there. Yeah, I'm right. There we go. Out of stock. Those pesky goblins. <laughs> you're the publisher. All right. You're the author. And it's out of stock in your dungeon hobby shop, but it's in stock on Amazon. Don't understand or get that, but hey, good enough. And let's just take a look at who your editor was. So we've got game by Justin Lanassa. And we have we got art credits here. All the art credits design and layout by Mick McArt. Um, I'd ask your money back from him. Dedication by Ernie Gygax, copyrighted. Those passage Justin Lanassa, published by Mick McArt, by Mick Art Productions LLC. No editor. Well, that would explain the lack of editing throughout the whole document. We got dedication. We got a poem from Poe. We have a foreword from Justin. We have an introduction. And then we just launch into, there's not even a table of contents, not even, you just, and it's just, wow, what a hot mess this is. Not even an editor. I guess you've just even dispensed with using Grammarly at this point. So out of stock here, in stock here on Amazon. Okay. I could earn 40 points. Learn more. Free delivery. Well, that would be nice, but we're not going to actually go through with the purchase. And so, Justin, I really don't know what you're talking about when you've come into Star Frontiers, New Genesis, and Post. I've said a thousand times, I will speak my mind with a real account, unlike your, you poor, poor folks. Let's talk about the real account. Um, repeatedly, I'd have to go digging through all my folders on you. Repeatedly, you've outed yourself as Mario Real. You outed yourself as Jigglypoo. You outed yourself as um, uh, WTG Loser. Um, you know, and it, it's uh, you've outed yourself repeatedly. The evidence is there. But if by this you mean I will speak my mind with a real account that you're going to cease and desist using sock puppets, then uh, I would be in favor of that. You know, I would I would commend you to stop being a coward and hide behind the sock puppets. I know that you're probably going to allege oh, that wasn't me, but you've never actually made a public statement disavowing the actions of all those accounts, those fake accounts that are not, you know, not anybody, okay? You've never publicly disavowed them. How about a disavowal of all the Mario Real accounts, you know, that, you know, because that guy drops these little hints that he's you, okay? How about a disavowal of Jigglypoo that you don't uh, that you don't agree with uh, the doxing and the uh, vile comments attacking people, attacking their children, their wives? Um, you know, how about that, Justin? If you're going to be speaking your mind with a real account, um, you know, how about unblocking me? Maybe we could have a discourse on. Uh, on Facebook, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I certainly welcome you speaking your mind with a real account under your real name and stop being a coward and hiding behind these sock puppet accounts that you, you know, you out yourself repeatedly with them. Like the time you were as Mario Real uh, doing that video on Dawn. And then you said, dad, to William Gentry, uh, Dad, go post this on all the D&D &D, um, groups. 
Well, we know who William Gentry is. He's Justin Lanassa's father. I mean, you know, that just outed Mario Real. And, you know, nobody in this world is interested in, in attacking uh, Hover Mail the way these accounts have attacked Hover Mail, the way they've attacked Logan, uh, the way they uh, throw around the word retard and, and uh, make a transphobic slurs. They're just not necessary. It's just not necessary. You don't have to agree with Michael. You don't have to be happy with Michael, um, you know, answering subpoenas to Wizards of the Coast. You don't have to be happy with that. You know, but you don't have to be, you don't have to make these personal attacks either. Okay? I've never attacked you personally. I've criticized you, yes. But I don't attack you personally. Um, I make fun of what you do. I make fun of what Mario does and says. Absolutely. Fair game. Okay? <clears throat> Absolutely. It's fair game. But I don't make a personal attack, you know, unless it's based off of you've said something and now I'm going to say, all right, right here he says this. So does that mean? Like, for instance, you talked about um, the WGT losers talked about having sex with Kim Winston. And, and so I says, oh, well, this is funny. I said, so are you coming out of the closet? Because Kim is a man. <laughs> you know, so fair game. That was fair game because you made the comment uh, as WGT loser or WTG. I can't keep it straight. How about we just stick with loser? You use that loser um, sock puppet. We'll just, I uh, can't keep the W, Wizard Tower game. Yeah, so WTG. I can't keep the, the letter straight. We'll just use loser. Um, so that may, yeah, that was that's fair game. You come out, you make those kind of comments, those kind of attacks. Um, those are fair game to make fun of. Those are those are fair game to mock. So, uh, dude, I don't know what you're doing, uh, but if if you're really gonna turn the corner, which is what this seems to say, let me throw it back up on on the uh, on the screen again. That uh, you're going to speak your mind with a real account, I I will certainly applaud that. It's about damn time. It is about damn time. And in a disavowal uh, of Mario Real and uh, the loser account and the Jigglypuff account would be nice, uh, as well as the uh, you know Mario Real is back account. That one as well. You know there were so many of the Mario Real accounts that got got locked down on. Twitter, you know, do a disavowal of those. You've never come out and do it. How about a disavowal of um, the avowed Nazi that wrote Star Frontier's New Genesis? You know, that's that's not up for debate. He had that stuff all over his Twitter account. It was screenshotted. It was preserved. Uh, you know, that's not up for debate. That guy... Uh, had posted the most heinous Nazi stuff. How about a disavowal of that? You know that that you know that would that would go a long way with people. But uh, so, but if if you are going to begin to speak your mind from your real account, I certainly applaud you for that. Uh, as for the draft or the sources of the edition of the draft you obtain. It's not a draft. It's what you're selling on Amazon. It is what you're selling on Amazon. They're apparently two sold. There's one a Kindle buyer, and then there is uh, somebody who bought a hard copy and scanned it and sent it out. So <clears throat> it's what you're selling, dude. I don't know. You know, you, you can deny it, but it, it exists. It's there. It's, it's, it's out there. And... Um, you didn't even have an editor. I mean, come on. I mean, this has been a constant criticism of you that, you know, things lack editing. I mean, can your wife not edit it for you? I mean, you know, do you, don't you know somebody with a college degree maybe? You got to have somebody. You got to know somebody who went to college, uh, to college-level English, right? Um. So, Rum Row, hey, how you doing? Long time no talk. And uh, the margins on the pesky goblins, the, uh, 
you know, this was a scan, and it looks like they weren't very careful with scanning it. Uh, it's a, it's a little crooked, and it looks like they did they had uh, they didn't have the unmasked sharp and all the extra features to get it more clear. Um, almost like it was intentional that they didn't care they were making a bad copy. So, um, yeah, I don't know. You know, it's not a great scan, but I appreciated getting it and looking at it. And then I was like, uh, it's so unedited. I don't, I, I just don't know. I, 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 I stopped reading it at a certain point and I kind of relied on Kim Winston's review of it, you know, pointing out, hey, <laughs> slavery, cannibalism. I had missed the cannibalism. I'd seen the slavery. Uh, I didn't read the table so closely with the uh, human infant as a loot item human infant in a cradle as a loot item. Um, you know, it's, uh, but I did note that no ratings meter on here. What happened to the TSR ratings meter? Uh, that would be an important thing to be on here, I would think. But uh, yeah, um, you know, apparently Justin's going to turn a corner though and start po speaking his mind with a real account. Unless this word real is a, um, you know, unless this word real is a reference to Mario Real, who we kind of know as a sock puppet for Justin, outed himself many times for that. So, uh, hey, Michael, lobster unbreaded. <laughs> yeah, I do like lobster. Um, up here in Maine, and uh, definitely, um, definitely need to uh, do some more lobster. Where I was actually thinking about starting a uh, travel, you know, tour Maine. Hey, Elf Bait, uh, we were going to tour, do a touring Maine, touring New England uh, channel. And one of the things I was going to do is I was going to hit like all the top uh, lobster roll. Places that are noted for having the best lobster rolls in Maine and do just do reviews of those, work up some sort of scale for judging them, you know, too much mayonnaise, not enough meat, that sort of thing. And uh, <clears throat> so definitely, yes. Yes, Michael. We love lobster. We love it unbreaded. Um, it's how I've eaten it my whole life. And Elf Bait, uh, I got to get with you later, actually, um, you know, about some Star Frontier stuff, I'm sure. And uh, but we're just doing this response to Justin's coming on Star Frontier's new Genesis coming out in the open from behind his sock puppets and um, addressing the accusation that we had a draft edition of Pesky Goblins. It was not a draft, it was purchased on Amazon, uh, which is funny because it's it's not for sale on the uh, Dungeon Hobby Shop, it's out of stock there already. It's funny how they put these things up and then they're out of stock instantly. I don't know how that happens. I doubt that many people are running in there to buy it. But you can certainly buy it on Amazon, on Justin's account. This Justin Lanassa. There we go. Justin's account. So, so not much happening other than um, doing a response. Hey, Vic. I thought you were driving tractor trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, um, I searched for it on, on uh, um, Amazon when I got the gorilla mail with the PDF. And um, yeah, it's there. And I mean, we have a prime account so I could get it with uh, without paying for shipping. But, um, you know, no, <laughs> you're waiting, Vic's, Vic's waiting for his load for, for the, uh, for the, for his commercial delivery. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, and I want to, and I want to, I want to thank Victor for uh, doing the, uh, letting me know that, geez, can't keep track of the cat, the cursor on two screens letting me know about this being up on Star Frontier's New Genesis. I was actually going to be writing uh, Star Frontier's material for the fan magazine today. 
uh, wrapping up and then working on editing, and I was not going to be focusing on Justin Lanassa, but I just figured I would do this uh, response to him. And, uh, yeah, uh, I got to say, though, good news. If, if he's going to speak his mind with a real account, as long as it's not the Mario real account. So. So. Let's pull out of there. So that's it for today. Pesky Goblins, he was claiming it was a draft. Um, PDF, it's not. It's, uh, according to my source, it was purchased on Amazon, then scanned. It certainly shows all the evidence of having been scanned and uh, then sent to me, and I believe it would be the same source for the copy that Winson and uh, David Floor had that they were reporting on. So, uh, yeah, the PDF is out there. It's the Amazon source. There is nothing for sale at the Dungeon Hub. It's already out of stock. They put these things up, and then they're out of stock. I don't know how that happens. How, how can you list it for sale, and then it's instantly out of, out of stock? It, it, that makes no sense to me. But, um, you know, maybe it's just because you're just doing an Amazon release. But supposedly, they're going to be, you know, you can pre-order them. And they'll go out with the Dungeon Crawl sometime this month or maybe next month, only one year late, because they were supposed to go out at the uh, TSR Con of a year ago, last March. And then that kept being like, well, it's at the printer. Well, you said it was shipping. And then it was, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will be shipping it soon. And then, you know, it's, it's just dragged out for a year. So... <clears throat> I hope people have sought to get their money back from that. Uh, I, I don't think you're going to see that game, but who knows? I have a copy. I, I was thinking about donating it to, um, to an auction for raising money at uh, North Texas. Um, you know, but if, if somebody absolutely had to have the game, you know, I could probably, you know, do something with you. You can contact me. I do have a copy that... I obtained was shipped to me and uh when does the pleather bound edition come out? Would that be pleather bound edition of the pesky goblins? <laughs> I love plastic leather. <laughs> no, nobody likes plastic leather. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. And and I say that because um the most popular thing to put in pleather is a Bible, you know, because, you know, rather, you know, try to get the price down from like a good $40 edition of the Bible, you know, to $14.99, but it's pleather. And, uh, you know, so you, you'd have one of those and uh, you'd be using it at uh, a seminary and it would literally fall apart in like months and you'd have to throw it away and get new. <laughs> they're, they're useless. I hate pleather. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, it, it's, if you're going to buy a Bible, don't, don't waste your time with pleather, unless you're just getting it to check it out. Then, yeah, sure, maybe. Uh, but if, if, you, if, you, if you're seeking that, I can go ahead, get upgrade to at least bonded leather. You know, up, upgrade to something a little bit better than pleather. <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible. So, uh, yeah, Vic. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't think there's going to be, um, any special editions of pesky goblins. They can't, um, <clears throat> they don't even have it from their printer. It's not in stock at the dungeon hobby shop. It's basically the print on demand from Amazon. So it, 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 that's what it is. So that's, that's all you're going to be able to get. And, um, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of sad. So <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. I've already done the response in this video to Justin. Um, I do want to encourage him. Yes, please do. Please do be real. Use your real account. Stop hiding behind the sock puppets. Uh, you know, and 
you know. Yeah. <laughs> Vic says ah. Yeah. Um, you know, so if he's if he's willing to do that, I I definitely applaud him because uh, it'll be a nice change. So this is Tom from Tabletop Tap Room. I'm going to sign out here. Thanks for coming by and uh, and chat bombing the, uh, the the quick update. And uh, Justin, you know, I mean, if you're turning a corner, um, please do a disavowal of all those sock puppets and everything they said, uh, especially about Don, especially about you know uh, my wife and my daughter. I would appreciate that. Uh, you know, I'll give you credit for that. Um, you know, attacking Dawn's daughter, attacking Dawn, you know, disavow all those sock puppets and uh, begin begin posting from your real account. That would be a wonderful change. And certainly many of us will applaud you and give you credit for, you know, standing up and being a man. Finally. So. This is Tom from Tabletop Tap Room signing out. I want to say thank you for watching the video. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys are great. And uh, keep on gaming.